Good morning, Patty Panthers. It is Thursday, January 30th, 2020. I'm Jackson Smith. And I'm Alexis Howard. Welcome to Patty Elementary School. We hope all learners are ready for our thinking first day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Jackson, yesterday our riddle of the day was, how many circles, how many sides does a circle have? Well, I had to think about this for a little bit, but, and then I got it, and then I got it. A circle has two sides, one on the inside and one on the outside. Jackson, I don't think that logic works in math class, but inside and outside are two sides. Weird. But today's word of the day is nurture. Nurture means the process of caring for and encouraging the, bro the growth of the growth or development of someone or something. Let's challenge Patty Panthers to nurture one another, to be caring and look out for each other. On that note, it is time for Mr. Luciati in the weekly book review. Woo! All right, what's up, everybody? You guys got me on that circle thing. Sides are straight, aren't they? Are we talking about faces on the inside and outside? I don't know. You're going to have to discuss that with your teachers. That one got me. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, everything happens live. All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are going to have a great day today. We have a book reviewer, but just before we do that, I want to bring back up the book that we are all reading as our party time book. That is Turning Pages by Sonia Sotomayor. Um, and here's what I got to thinking after I read it again this morning. I know you guys talked a lot about the difference between main idea and theme. And if I had to come up with the main idea of this story, we've kind of talked about it already. I think it's that books were her outlet, and books were the thing that led her to become who she became. And when I think about main idea, I think about what is that, that idea that the author, who is Sonia Sotomayor, wants us to understand from reading this book. And that's kind of the message that is sent to the reader all throughout the entire book. But then I started thinking about theme. I was like, well, so if, if we had to boil this down to a theme and put it into a different category that a lot of different books could fall under, what would be the theme? And I love this theme, which is one of the main reasons why I picked this book. And to me, the theme is that you can overcome any challenges that you have, no matter how young you are, how old you are, to become whatever you want to be. I mean, if you think about in this book, she had a difficult childhood. She moved around a lot. She was a second language learner in America, trying to learn at the same rate that all of our English speakers are. Um, you know, uh, lots of different situations with her family and um, different moves and things like that. But she was brave enough to handle that and to persevere and to fight through it and ultimately become you know, one of the uh, highest jobs, most important jobs you can have in this entire country. So to me, that's the theme that you can persevere and overcome any challenges that you have. It's not easy. It takes strength and it takes the support of the people around you. But take a look around you right now. You have the support of the people around you. So that's what it's all about. All right. I got one lone book review this morning and it is my man Griffin from Miss Vick's class. Come on down, buddy. How are you doing, Griffin? You ready to rock today? Mm -hmm. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Let me see your book there, buddy. I'll hold it up to the camera. Can you tell everybody the title of this book? Dog Man Fetch 22. The title of this book is Dog Man Fetch 22. So this is the Dog Man series, and he has a lot of books in his series, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. All right, so Griffin, tell us a little bit about this one. It's about a dog-headed cop who's in a team called the Super Buddies, and they try to catch an evil fairy and 22 tackle that have mind tackles. 22 what? Tadpoles. Tackles? Tadpoles. Tadpoles. 22 tadpoles. There, I can't imagine anything more difficult than trying to catch tadpoles. Right? Did he use a net? That's what I did. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I gave it away. <laughs> All right, Griffin. So, are you recommending this book to everybody out there? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's funny and there's very clever pages. Funny and clever pages. Well, there you go. You heard it right there from Griffin. Boys and girls, if you have not read any books in the Dogman series, check it out. And if you have and you haven't read Dogman Fetch 22, we're talking about 22 tadpoles, there it is right there. Griffin, nice job, my man. Griffin's ready to rock. 
Hope you guys are ready to. Have a great day. Don't forget, together we are... Daddy Strong.